Hi everybody, I'm Mark Kirby uh, and I'm going to be your instructor for this semester. This is the introduction for uh, Accounting 6, Spreadsheets for Accounting. Um, first off, let's start. I'm an adjunct instructor, so what you really need to know is I don't have a, a, an office on campus. So if you need help, uh, my office really is the classroom where we meet and I'm there for my office hour, uh, the hour before class every week. So if you need help, come on by. I'll be there before class. We can answer questions on your homework. We can talk about accounting questions you may have or, or Excel questions. Um, anything you want, that's the place and time to come find me. Um, if you need to get a hold of me, email is the best way. Again, I don't have an office. Uh, so my email address is makirby at cabrillo.edu. Uh, I'm not on it all day long. I do check it in the morning. Um, and sometimes I'll get on it later in the day, um, but if, if you send me an email, it may be 24 hours before I get back to you. Uh, the university has given me a phone extension where you can call me and leave a message, but there isn't an office, so there isn't a phone, it's just an extension, and uh, I check that from time to time, but nowhere near as often as the email. Uh, so go ahead and, and use the email, it's the best way to get a hold. About this class, we're going to take everyday accounting concepts and we're going to learn to perform them using Excel. Um, the goal of this course is not to learn Excel. Uh, you should have already done that in Business 5 or Cabot 41. Um, the real focus of this class is to take Excel to the next level. We want to use it as a tool uh, to perform common accounting functions. Um, where do I go with that? Even though we're using these accounting principles, um, Excel is the real focus of the class. Uh, so we're going to end up, like I said, taking uh, Excel to uh, a level beyond what most users will take it to. Uh, you know, anybody can take Excel and type in words and numbers and create a report. We're actually going to use Excel as a tool and design it to be a template where there's an input area, and then. Excel takes that input, does the calculations with it, and populates another area of the spreadsheet that's a ready-to-go report format where all you have to do is hit the print button. The ultimate goal here and the question you need to ask yourself as we're working on these spreadsheets, are there directions, are there instructions, is there an input area? Could someone else follow this if I weren't the one doing the work? Would they know what to do? And does it take the data? from the input area where it's marked and generate an output area where you get the, the report that you're looking for, you can push the print button and be done. I.e. the real quick answer is we want to set up a tool that we can then assign to somebody else in our office and have them do the work uh, so that we don't have to anymore. We want to take that step up above everybody else. Okay, the textbook. The textbook is College Accounting. It's the 13th edition that we're going to be using. This is the same textbook for Accounting 151A and Accounting 159, which is uh, Computer Accounting. Uh, if you are lucky and you have the 12th edition, edition or you have access to it, hang on to it. It's fine to use. You'll save yourself some money. Uh, just know that the quantities and the amounts and the problems are going to be different. So as you're following along, it may be a little hard, harder to follow along. But the book will work just fine for you. Save the money. Um, exams. There's going to be an exam after each of the chapters that we cover in the book. Uh, the exams will consist of multiple choice questions and they'll be, the exam will be given on Blackboard. Uh, they'll typically be 30 or 35 multiple choice exams from the textbook. Um, homework. Homework is going to be uh, assigned every week. Uh, it will be Excel spreadsheet driven. There'll be the we're going to use the problems at the back of each chapter in the book, and um, I'll assign some of those to you. But I want you to uh, complete them using Excel, uh, using the tools and functions and things that we learn in class. Um, you're going to be submitting your homework electronically via Blackboard. Um, and I will grade them and return them to you with comments. Um, it's also going to be every student's responsibility to present one of their homework problems, one of their solutions in class, and we do a round-robin feedback sort of thing. Um, I found that there's a lot of learning that goes on from that, and uh, it's actually very helpful. 
Excel, there's a lot to Excel. So even though I have one way that I may do it, you or another student may have a different way that, that you know how to get something done. And none of, you know, there, there's lots, if there's one way to do something in Excel, there's at least three. So maybe I'll even learn something from you guys as we go through this. So about homework, I have uh, no problem with you guys working on the homework together or in groups. Uh, I actually encourage it. You, you can actually help each other learn as part of the learning process. Um, just when you turn in your homework, turn in your own work. Just because you work on it together doesn't mean you can turn in one, one solution and say this is all of our homework. Uh, or even take the same Excel file and make a new copy of it and change the name on it. No, um, I'm going to treat that just like I'm treating uh, cheating on an exam. Uh, so I'm going to turn in your own work. Okay? Uh, I have zero, point, zero tolerance policy for cheating. And um, I'm going to be watching for blatant examples of you guys just copying each other's work because it's so easy to do with Excel. Okay? Um, the grading policy. The grading policy. Post that on Blackboard. It's already there for you. Um, the exams that we, I talked about at the end of the chapters are going to account for about a third of your grade. <coughs> the homework and the in-class participation is going to be about a third of your grade. And there's going to be a capstone project at the end of this class that will also account for about a third of your grade. Uh, if you have any questions, have a look at the grading policy on Blackboard or ask me questions. Um, I reserve the right to change the point totals sections of the grading policy at any time should something come up that cause us to want to, want to make a change. Uh, so, this is an Excel class. You're going to need um, regular access to a computer with reliable, I'm going to repeat the word reliable, internet access. Because uh, we're using Blackboard. You're going to have to download your homework and submit it online. Uh, you're going to need to have a copy of Excel version 2003. 2007 or 2010 that you can use for this class. Um, I will be using 2007 in class and all the examples in class will be done using the 2007 version. Uh, for those of you who are Apple users, uh, the Apple software is a little different. Um, it's up to you to adapt. I'm not going to try and teach to the Apple software. Um, and when you submit your homework, you need to do it in Excel format. Don't do it in some sort of .zip uh, compressed format because I don't have access to Apple software and I'm not going to be able to open it. It has not worked in the past. It is your responsibility to submit the homework uh, in, a, in a format that I can open and, and correct, okay? Um, the project, the capstone project for this class is going to take the last several weeks of class. We're going to cover all of the uh, new material in the book and the Excel stuff in the first part of the class. The last couple of weeks are going to be the project, and the project will be taking everything we've learned, all the functions and all the Excel uh, tips and tricks, and we're going to calculate um, payroll for a company. You're going to be brought in as a consultant where you will design a spreadsheet that will calculate four weeks worth of payroll for a company. Uh, that you can change pay rates, you can change withholding allowances, deductions, things like that, and it will pull all of the correct federal state withholding from a table and uh, calculate the payroll for this company. Um, yeah, while I'm, while I'm working on, while we are all working on the project, I'm not going to be presenting new co uh, concepts in the class, new accounting material, so you'll really have a couple of weeks to focus on this uh, and really do a good job on it. Uh, Blackboard, I've mentioned it. Um, Blackboard is an interactive online teaching tool that I'm going to be using to present information to you. There'll be videos there, there'll be uh, your homework, you'll submit your homework that way. Um, if you're not familiar with Blackboard, go to the uh, TLC on the Aptos campus or the Learning Center in Watsonville and they'll give you a tutorial on it, but you're going to want to be able to, uh, you want to make sure that you're, you're able to log on to Blackboard and use it fairly well. Um, I'll be posting your grades directly on Blackboard. So you'll be able to look at your grade, your current grade, on a, uh, in a real-time basis online. Um, Blackboard can also be used as a communication tool. You can uh, there's a chat area where you can 
post questions and, and answers for your classmates or for me. If a classmate doesn't answer, I may jump in and, and post some information for you as well. Um, okay, that, that gets us pretty much through where you need, where you need to be and what's going to be on the syllabus. Uh, so your homework for week one, I want you to go and log into Blackboard and um, have a look at the schedule for the class, have a look at the grading policy, um, <clears throat> read the syllabus. I have a uh, quiz online for you, a 10 point quiz uh, that's on the syllabus itself and I want you to you know, take that quiz just so that I know that you, you've read the syllabus and, um, and that's it. Uh, there are also some PowerPoint presentations in Blackboard, the ones that I'm going to be using in class, uh, so you can access those repeatedly over and over again. Um, that, you know, as a refresher before an exam or things of that nature. Uh, there's just lots of good material on Blackboard. All right, um, please come to class prepared to participate because it's going to be a very important class. Uh, I look forward to seeing you in class. We're going to have a fun semester. Uh, I wish you all the best. So uh, I look forward to seeing you in class and um, have a good semester.